The Bruins shockingly squandered a third period lead against the Lightning in Tampa on Monday night, losing 5-4. Boston will play again on Wednesday, hosting the Rangers at 7.30 p.m. The Celtics are in Cleveland tonight to play the Cavaliers at 7 p.m. Tom Brady's contract situation Tom Brady's contract is currently set to expire after next season. And while Brady probably has no interest in leaving the Patriots, it would be notable for New England to enter a season having not extended their franchise quarterback's current deal. In past years, Brady and the Patriots have made a habit out of renegotiating during the offseason. So far, that hasn't been the case in 2019. It's not unprecedented for the Patriots to make it to September before concluding a new deal for Brady, that was the case in 2010. But as NBC Sports Boston's Tom Curran explained of Brady's contract in the offseason, it's always an apt time to check in on the progress being made. Curran reported on Monday night that, all is quiet on the Tom Brady contract front. One possibility could be that the team will get something done shortly before the start of next season. In January, Jonathan Kraft mentioned a possible window of time to extend Brady's contract. Let's see what happens when training camp starts. Kraft said during an appearance on Boston Sports Tonight, Brady's contract has historically been an asset for the Patriots, and bringing his current cap number, $27 million, under control figures to be a priority. Trivia, Patrice Bergeron has amassed 75 points so far this season, a career high. Added to that, his work rate on defense once again makes him a contender for the Frank J. Selk Trophy, given to the NHL's best defensive forward. Bergeron has won the distinction four times in his career, tying them with one other player for the most wins in the trophy's history. Who is the other player with four Selk wins? Answer at the bottom. Hint, he won it four times in a row, a span of time in which he also won multiple Stanley Cups and a Conn Smythe Trophy. More from Boston.com, Brad Marchand's favorite player is a fan, Brad Marchand was so starstruck meeting Martin Saint. Lewis at a 2014 golfing event that he, for once, had no words. Flashing forward to 2019, Street. Lewis admires Marchand's ability to play in the future, Boston Globe, create your own Celtics lineup, with so many questions around the distribution of minutes in the Celtics lineup, why not give it a try yourself? There are only 240 minutes to spread around, so choose wisely. Mass Live, ESPN did a deep dive on David Price's fastball, with baseball season getting underway, ESPN did an in-depth look at some of the best pitches from top pitchers in baseball. Featured among them was David Price's two-seam fastball. ESPN, Dwayne, The Rock. Johnson gave an impromptu pep talk to a baseball team. The Rock encouraged some kids on their way to their baseball game face with tears of joy via at the rock pick at twitter.com slash y6l5x8pxcl ESPN at ESPN March 26, 2019 On this day, in 1979, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson met on the basketball court for the first time as Michigan State defeated Indiana State in the NCAA Tournament Championship, 75-64. Daily highlight David Pasternak went to duck, but Brad Marchand made it unnecessary. No need to duck, at Pasternak96, at B March 63. Download our free app.